Okay, everybody, I have a couple of iPads in front of me. Those iPads have got the same app. So we've got OnSong, they've got MIDI Mitter, which is what you're going to use to connect your uh, iPads together. If you're using iPads, you might be using an iPhone or another iOS device. And you'll need Sample Tank if you want to use those sounds within Sample Tank to connect um, to your keyboard or whatever you might be using, your MIDI controller. Let me know, by the way, if there's another similar app to Sample Tank um, that you can use and it'll, it'll receive MIDI information. I'm just using it because it receives MIDI and I'm not really, you know, convinced about the sounds within it, but you know, it, it works for now. So we'll see. So basically I've got all three of those apps installed on both of my devices. Um, on song, by the way, if you're not, if you're not familiar with it, um, it's like a lyrics, you've got all sorts of lyrics, sheets and things like that. You can have all your songs in front of you. This is the paid for version. It's a little bit buggy. Um, the old school version on this iPad has never, I've never got, it's never gone wrong. It's, you know, it's always served me well. So just bear that in mind. They might have, they might rectify it by the time you watch this video. So anyway, so that's on song. Um, it's, it's a useful tool. There are other similar um, lyrics and chord charts and sheets out there, but you know, if you know of any other ones that you can send MIDI information, then let me know as well. So anyway, so that's on song. What we'd want to do is connect both of these devices via Bluetooth MIDI. So you're going to need MIDI emitter. It looks like that. You can download it free from the app store. You're going to have one device that's going to sort of accept the information from the other. So it, it, the purpose of this video, this iPad is going to be accepting the info. So I'm going to advertise this and then this one will send the info. So I'm just going to turn it off. Um, yeah, it's, it's already off. I'm just going to disconnect that one. So this is what yours will look like when you open it up. You'll have some options at the bottom. So again, you're going to have one that's going to advertise. So this one's going to advertise. And then you're going to come up here, advertise MIDI service. So I'm going to toggle that one to on. It's now discoverable as Ross G's iPad, which is me. And then over here, if I go to the bottom, I've got devices, not advertised, by the way, not advertised. Uh, I don't want it to advertise. I want it to be devices this time. Turn my devices on. And then I've got um, an option to connect to Ross G's iPad. Sorry, losing focus. There we go. Connecting, connected. So now these iPads are in sync. This one will send information to this one. Okay, so I can come out of that and they're all rigged up, ready to go. Uh, another thing I wanna show you in this video is Sample Tank. So if you're gonna use Sample Tank to play the um, the sounds to your keyboard maybe, or you might just wanna play it on the, the iPad, um, we can do that as well. So Sample Tank looks like this. Again, it's a free, or there is a free version of the app. So let's go ahead and open that up. Looks something like this. It might look a bit different when you open it up. It might give you loads of information like that. Uh, in fact, it won't even look like that. It'll look like exit live mode. It looks something like this. So this is like the sort of door or DAW uh, mode of it. If you like, you can do recordings in there and, and change different sounds and there's loads of you know, effects and sounds and things you can select from. But for the purpose of, of using it in the way that I showed you in the sort of introduction video is we want a live mode. So we're gonna click those eight little boxes up in the top corner and that sends us into a live mode. So each of these I can assign or I can put a different sound source in. So that means you can have eight different instruments that you can use um, you know, for your for your performances. And I've just got an electric piano in the first one. Yours might look something like this, by the way. So all of these boxes might be turned on. I just thought it was like better for me if all of these were off. And then I can see, oops, I can see which one I've selected. So you might not be able to do this straight away. You, you're gonna be on demo mode like that. And it's gonna look something like this where, um, I was messing around this with this for ages. Oh, hang on. And it wasn't, so we just got some multi one there. And it wasn't working. I was thinking, why is this not allowing me to connect um, or send MIDI information? It just wasn't working. And I couldn't find anything or any useful videos or, or information online about how to do it. So 
we go to where it says multi one and then you can change to a user mode so let's go ahead and change the user mode and what i've done is i've changed the first three presets one to an i've just called it the e piano an organ and a pad all right you can obviously change that to whatever you want so if i just click on e piano i'll come out of that and i'll go over here and i've just put a stage piano in this first box so let's say for example i want something else here i'm going to tap to browse i'm going to go to categories and let's say i'll go to a base and i'll just pick that first one there so that will now put another sound source in the second box there and i can just switch that one so Oh, we might not be able to hear it because the volume's down. Anyway, I'm not going to mess around with it. Um, you can see that. So we don't need that. We want, well, I, I've chosen an electric piano. I'm just going to remove that. Clear. I've chosen an electric piano in the first one. Also, it won't remember this if you come off and, and do something else. So you have to save it. And you're going to save it by clicking the little down arrow going into the rectangle up there. And that will now save. Oh, make sure I saved again. There we go. Just a dead quick. So now if I go to my second one, number two, an organ will load up and you can see it's gone into a different um, a different box, if you like, just so that I know that the first box was piano, second box is organ, third box is going to be a pad and so on and so forth. So have a play around with that. Just make sure that you're saving it after um, after each time you make a, make a change. So obviously you've got eight um, to play with there. And what was that last one? I wanted to show you, that's it. So if we go to the top right hand corner, we need to make sure that we know which MIDI channel we're sending things. So I have just set this to MIDI channel four. So just bear that in mind when I'm going back over to the RC600 and sending things to that as well as this. So this is on MIDI channel four. The RC600 is on MIDI channel two. And I'll show you that in the next video. Okay, everybody, see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.